Good morning, everybody. Here, wait, let me get it so that I'm holding the phone. Hi. So, we're about to get a bunch of snow. And wait, hang on. Oh, there they come. We're about to get a bunch of snow. And I like to take the dogs out for a walk every morning. So, um... I decided to do it because I don't think that we're going to be able to go walking for the next couple of days. Um, it's going to be cold and snowy tomorrow, and then we're going to pop back up into the 50s and rain on Sunday. So, um, I want to get them. There they are. So, right now we're in the long field. We're going to take a walk around the long field, and then um, probably we'll go into the backfield as well. So, ooh, that was a good rut. So I thought to myself whenever I was doing this, why not? By the way, before I get into this, the terrain here, I don't know if you guys can see, but um, it's not like I'm walking on a good path. So I'm not gonna look at the camera too much. Um, cause I gotta make sure I don't trip. And if I trip and fall, you, you can laugh at me perfectly normal. Okay. Um, so anyways, I decided why not pop on and do a little video, um, on why it's so important to exercise. Um, and really... I, I don't like that word exercise. I would much rather um, say movement. Movement is a very, very important thing, especially, wait, I gotta switch hands. That hand got cold. Okay, here we go. <laughs> um, it's really important whenever we're talking about um, blood glucose and blood sugar and, and all that. And whenever we're trying to get that in control, if we're worried about pre-diabetes or type 2 diabetes, um, if we have either of those, then this is something that we hear a lot. Well, okay, so we know we need to curb our, our diet, what we put in our pie hole. Yeah, okay, awesome. Everybody knows that. And quite honestly, I don't have to tell you what to put in your pie hole either because you understand, you know. So... Um, <laughs> why is exercise important? Well, when we eat carbs, vegetables, even the good stuff, it produces, our body's going to turn it into blood glucose at different levels. It depends on the food. And our muscles are one of those things <laughs> that likes the blood glucose as well as our brain. And then one other area I can never remember. But anyways, <clears throat> if we think, wait, I'm by the woods. So let's take a peek in there and just make sure nothing is hanging out. Okay, <laughs> so, okay, let's get back to it. So if we have all this blood glucose and, or glucose in our blood and switch hand cold. And um, our muscles I like to use it. <clears throat> it wouldn't make sense to work our muscles so that it has a place to accept the glucose, <laughs> right? If our muscles are full, then our body's not going to put the glucose there and we're just going to store it. So, one of the ways to help out um, with our diet, even when we're healthy, is to exercise. Now, movement. When we walk, I think most of us are losing a lot of potential of um, clearing out our muscles. We're forgetting what we do. So let's think about this for a second. We need every single part of our body 
to walk. But most of the time we forget about our upper body. We even forget about things like our gluteus maximus or our butt. That's a muscle and you need it to walk. We forget about these things. So, most excuses when it comes to movement go around, I don't have the time to do it. I don't either. I don't like going to the gym and wasting an hour of my day. I don't like going outside to the gym. I have dumbbells. I'll lift them up every now and again, but that's about the extent of it. I don't like it. And so I'm not going to force myself to do something I don't like. If I force myself to do something I don't like, I'm not going to do it for very long. So, <clears throat> switch hands. <laughs> so, I really enjoy walking though. Now, what I've done is I put, oh, my thumb is in the way. What I've done is I have picked a terrain that has hills and it's a little bit iffy and uh, not really iffy, iffy like I'm going to fall down, but you know, like, whoo, Chuck just jumped at me. Um, you know, I, I can, I can focus on different muscle groups and work them. And going back to those muscles, when we walk, we want to hold our body nice and straight. You have muscles in your back, your lower back, um, that we don't use nearly enough. And if we're to get good posture, we would use them. So think about the posture that you're going to hold and what muscles you need to to use to hold it and get up out of your chair here's your challenge once an hour get up out of your chair and choose a destination to walk to and walk there I know <laughs> it could be like to the bathroom it could be to get a glass of water um, a little walk around your floor in your office building. I don't know. I don't care. It doesn't have to be go outside and walk for 20 minutes. It can literally be for a couple of minutes, but engage your muscles. So, oh, I just got bombed by Chuck again. He says, get walking, mama. So I'm going to walk. So we want to make sure that our shoulders are back and start to engage. So think about your spine. If you have back problems, you really need those muscles to support your spine. So when you get up and you're moving, engage them. So what do I mean by engage? It's kind of like have your hand just limp and then make a fist, like a really tight fist. See how my knuckles turn white? Turn your knuckles white and then feel your arm and you can see you're engaging your muscles are working all the way up your arm so when i'm talking about engaging that's what you're going to do you're going to kind of tense up squeeze your butt squeeze those butt muscles whenever you're walking you know everybody wants a nice butt so squeeze your butt muscles and it actually like it helps so do that <laughs> feel your lower back and then figure out if we suck in our gut, we start to engage our muscles in our lower back. Pretty cool. So, um, think about it. Tighten up your calf muscles. Tighten up your thigh muscles. Like, just really, and then kind of do reps with it, too. Like, release it, and then tighten it, and release it. So, it's, it's um, you can work your muscles, even if all you're doing is taking, let's say, 200 steps. So if you want to get a step tracker out, that's a really, um, I did that for a little while and it would like buzz my arm to remind me to get up and do, walk 200 steps or something like that. Uh, that's nice. We have, and we can set reminders on our phone to do that, but problem is when, you know, kind of jumping back, with our um, blood sugar and 
why it's so out of whack and we've just really become very stagnant so we need to remind ourselves to get up and and walk um the other thing too that I always like to recommend are things like chair squats or, you know, put a small set of dumbbells by your desk at work and um, you can do a couple of reps. Um, but it's it's really just once an hour you want to be engaging your muscles and doing some kind of movement that you really enjoy. And you'll be surprised as to what starts happening um, to your body and how your blood sugar really um, starts to come into check. Again, it's it's not one thing. There's no one thing um, that fixes us <laughs> uh, when it comes to prediabetes and type 2 diabetes. We have to really be working on a lot of things. And then always remember... There is so much science happening in our body all the time. It's science, you know. And what do we do in science? We experiment. And what what happens with experiments? Sometimes, um, I don't want to go up that hill. I don't really want to go. I'm by the little hunting shack and I'm not sure which way to go. Uh, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna go up that hill, I think, which means there's gonna be a lot of huffing and puffing out of me. (sighs) Here we go. Okay. So, our body is one big science experiment. Some science experiments, we make a hypothesis, we say, okay... This is how it's, we think it's going to work. And then we run an experiment and we either prove our hypothesis right or we prove it wrong. And um, it's kind of fun. And we need to kind of start thinking of our body just like that. I'm going to take a break. Um, It's an experiment and... Some of the things we try are going to work for us, and some of the things we try are not. And so, that's why I'm always very hesitant to say, yeah, go out and do what your best friend is doing. Because it can get very discouraging um, when it works for them and not for us. And human nature is to just quit. This is the motivational part of my video, okay? (laughs) When we get discouraged, we quit. It is a natural human thing to do. When things start to hurt, we quit. So it's hard to push ourselves all by ourselves. That's why it's always good to do things together, to have a support group, (sighs) to have somebody who will say, hey, it's okay, try something else, because it really is okay to try something else. You have to stay in your lane, and you have to adhere to just a couple of rules and the couple of rules are work your muscles and balance your plate and it's really just balancing life so if you are super struggling with this and you just can't seem to pull it together and Say to yourself, once and for all, I'm going to change my diet and I'm going to change my exercise habits and really stick to it. Well, 
the balance that's out of whack that you need to focus on the most then is life. We always have to balance our life. Uh, I say it time and time again. If you're craving sugar, take a vacation. Because <laughs> you're craving something sweet in your life. Not necessarily a cookie. So the other thing, as you're watching some successes happen around you, and we're going to start seeing them. It's the new year. We're six, six days in. Something like that. People are going to start getting online and boasting. And it's awesome for them. We should always congratulate whenever somebody has a success. And we have to be careful not to turn it into a failure for us. So protect yourself from that. And work on balancing your life. If you look at them, they've also been balancing their life. A lot of people who have successes with and their health, it's stemming from a change in thought process and really working on their internal self. And that too has a million ways to get there. So you have to find your way and get there. We have to balance our mind. We have to balance our body and we balance our spirit. And I can guarantee if you think you're going to be balancing your diet and your exercise <laughs> by forcing yourself to do something, it's not going to work for you. Don't force it. Find it. Start creating your science experiments. And that... Is all I'm going to do for today. <laughs> so we walked a long field. We walked part of our backfield. Um, I got a little ways to go. And I'm going to concentrate more <laughs> on my walking than my talking. And finish this up. And then see the, <laughs> the skies are really starting to darken up. So... Um, I am going to take our, our snow time and get myself back in the kitchen. And hopefully by the end of it, I have a few really cool videos to show you how uh, kicking it in the kitchen. So once again, enjoy yourself, move, find something that you like and move every hour and focus on the muscles that you're using. Um, just start really thinking about it and watch the changes start to happen. You all have a very, very happy day and I look forward to seeing you again in our next video. Bye, happy farming.